Beyoncé inside the project. The first thing to do is just to check if these are uh, synthesizable. So we can set them as top level entity and run the compilation of the UHDL to see if it is uh, um, synthesizable because not all UHDL code is synthesizable. So usually when this first phase is the analysis and synthesis has been completed, uh, the project means it is synthesizable. And you can add here all the logical elements that are used to implement it. After compilation has ended, you can have a look at the netlist generated, so the schematic, the logical elements that are used. So if you go to RTL view, you see that has been realized, synthesized the uh, hardware we have described, the full hardware. The sum bit is the XR of three inputs, and the carry out bit is this logic function, is an OR of three and with two inputs. That is exactly the description we have provided. The same thing we can do uh, setting as top level entity the BCD to certain segment display, and we can compile also this block to see if it is correct. Okay, so also this one, uh, after the analysis and synthesis, has shown that uh, it is uh, synthesizable. So it is uh, a WHDL code that is uh, correctly synthesizable and programmable to an FPGA. Here are the reports uh, shows that are used eight logic elements, uh, total pins 13 and other information. And also in this case, if we want to see the um, result of the synthesis of this which DL block, we go to the RTL Hoover. And this is the most complicated block, but we can zoom, uh, view, zoom in is control space, and zoom out is control shift space. So if we go to control space, we can zoom in. The project uh, is uh, just uh, a digital comparators with the selectors. Uh, if the number in input is equal to this number, then select this output and so on. So it is a cascade of comparator with the um, selector. And it is a big... This is not uh, a, an optimized uh, schematic uh, because we used the elite edition. So a non-professional non edition, and uh, the level of optimization is not um, very, very sophisticated. So it is quite simple. If you use a professional edition, you maybe obtain uh, projects more optimized with uh, lower delay pro uh, propagation delay times. The top level is not synthesizable, so. We do not set it as top level entity, but uh, we simply have to, we can set a top level entity, but not uh, um, start compilation, but just analyze the current file. So we select it and we just uh, analyze the current file to see if it is correct to HDL, because this is not, uh, the test bench is not synthesizable because we uh, uh, define uh, um, logical values for inputs and these are not synthesizable so we do not have to synthesize this but just to uh, analyze if it is correct the which they are code if we have no error it means at least from uh, in which the other syntax level is correct okay the analyzer was successful, zero error, one warning, so we have uh, no issue. Now we have to create uh, the top level um, file. So we go to hierarchy, 
uh, this has been selected as the top level, but it's not uh, the correct one. We have to create a new block diagram schematic where to insert uh, our project. We have to save it as a top level entity. So we save it, save as, as ETA, ETA and lit 3 top, exactly. Now in the files, this will be the top level entity. So when we go to hierarchy, we see we have our top level entity, we have our design unit, and uh, inside the um, top level, we will insert the full adder and the BCD to some segment display diagram. So first of all, we have to create uh, the um, schematics uh, of our two blocks uh, that we have to insert in the top level entity. So full adder, to create the symbol file for the full adder, we select this one. And now, if we go to the top uh, and uh, with the right click of the mouse, we go to insert symbol, it opens a project and we can insert our full adder. Next, uh, we have to create the block corresponding to our PCB to send a segment uh, display driver. And so we select this file and we go to create update create symbol file for the target file yes so we go here and we click on insert the symbol and we now insert also the bcd to seven segment and display okay we can place them also in this way that maybe is better Okay, now we have to connect the inputs and the outputs to the uh, board pins or to the inputs of the BCD27 segment display. So, first of all, uh, to insert the ABC input pin, we have the input here. And also, in DP as an input, and also as input we have uh, in BCD three and two to insert. So we insert other two pins here. Next, I show you why why they are put here. Output, we have some output, but C out output is connected to um, in BCD one, and some output is connected to in BCD zero. So they are not really output, they are just signals. So for signals, this is the selection to do. We go here and create a signal. Here we create another signal. Next, we have some buzzes. Buzzes are a, a group of digital signals, not single signals. This is the symbol to create a buzz. So we have these buses in input. Uh, output are just Q78. These are output. Now we have to assign uh, to the inputs uh, the correct pins. So pin assignment, uh, we have created a file in the folder of the project where we have all uh, the input descriptions. So for instance, we have uh, the switches, uh, have got these names, uh, switch 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so, since we use switches as inputs, it is sufficient to double click here. And this is switch, square bracket, 0, this is switch square bracket one. This is the switch one. And this is the switch 
function. We also have other switches that are uh, used. Switch 3 is the decimal point, the one to turn on, turn off the decimal point. And we also have a, a switch 4 that is the input in VCD2 and the switch 5 which is the input in VCD3. How to connect uh, these inputs to this one and this output to these inputs of the VCD277? So we have to assign, select the bus and assign him a name, for instance, VCD in open square bracket three dot dot zero close square bracket. So the first input is BCD in zero, and so it is sufficient to select this is that the first input and assign the same name BCD in zero. You can invent whatever name you want. The important is that the bus is correctly called. We uh, select this one and this is, will be BCD in one. Good. We add here a node. We add here a digital signal and we do the same thing. This is signal BCD in 2 and this is signal BCD, uh, BCD in 3. So we have set up uh, all the input and out all the inputs not the outputs. Okay what about the outputs? The outputs are called for the first seven segment display are x at zero from zero to seven. So it is very simple. We can call x zero seven dot dot zero close square brackets. And we have assigned input and output. Now we can compile this top level. This is the real top level entity of our project, and we can compile it to see if it is everything correct. Okay, seem okay. The whole project has been synthesized. You can find the total logic elements used by the project and the total pins number. Okay, you can also see the result of the synthesis process. And you see that there are two blocks. The first one is connected to S4, D0, 1 and 2. S4, 3 is connected to this one and 5, 4 are connected to BCD, 3, 4, while sums in BCD 0, that shells is BCD 1. The output is at 0, 7, 0. You can also see what it is inside each block. So the first block is our full adder, and the second block is our BCD to 7 segment display. That is the same. It is plus and minus. We can And next, uh, we have to view quindi. So control shift. So this is our um, our the result of our synthesis that is simply the two blocks uh, that we have seen before now connected to their inputs and outputs. Okay, the project is ready to be programmed in the FPGA. So program it in the FPGA and verify if it's uh, functioning as we have seen pre before we go to program and uh, we should be sure that we select this top level file. We select 
this program configured, now it is not possible to program it because it is not connected to the computer. But when we connect, uh, this button is available and uh, the programming and the verification